All right, we're loading up the family. Got the truck all together. We're gonna bring it to the paint shop. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this Diesel Extreme to the tank, because it's gonna be an hour and a half, so hopefully that can get through all the injectors and all that stuff. But the Duramax is looking really nice. I can't wait to see it done. Let's go ahead and hit the road. I guess we're not doing any burnouts today. So we're doing guys, we're gonna go to his place for a little bit and then we're gonna take off from there. It's about an hour from his house and uh, we're gonna drop the truck off. Guys, I gotta say, this rear end is locking up very, very nicely. It really puts me in my seat. Just that little bit, it kind of jolted. That's really impressive, honestly. I'm really happy with Kodiak Trucks rebuild for the rear differential. It is amazing. Boy, oh, hey, guess who's getting an alignment? I am. After I replaced that rear end, I really threw off the angle in the rear there. So, alignment to come. Actually, when I let go of the steering wheel, it's actually not too bad. It's not way off, but the steering wheel is. I figured that would happen. Just making sure, just pulling over, making sure everything is tight. I'm at Mitchell's house right now. Been on the road for about an hour, but so far so good. I even goosed it a few times, no problems. No leaks. I just checked the trans fluid. Yeah, this is the state of this truck right now. That's kind of what I'm dealing with. But that's what happens when you're getting it painted. It's a lot easier to take the panels off and help the paint guy a little bit. I got everything debadged on the truck. Everything's completely out. And here is Mitchell's 99 comp. Don't let the rust fool you guys. This thing is compound turb, twin turbo, built transmission. This truck is a beast. I think it's funny though, it's you know it's all rusted out, but man, it's got some power. I think the last time he took it on the dyno, he got almost, I think it was almost 600 horsepower in this thing. Hopefully one day he'll get to the body work or swap all that stuff out and put it in a different truck that's a lot cleaner. But this is a, this is a cool truck. All right, we'll let her rest a little bit. What's up? How's it going? Hi. You gotta help me get your children out. Can I get your number? I already, ha I already have it. No. <laughs> what do you think about the sweet van? Um, you need to clean it. You want me to rev it up for you? Whoa. Whoa, what is that sound? Power. It doesn't even move. <laughs> it doesn't even move. So we are done there. It's time to go to the bank. I gotta put half down. All right, should have zip tied that. Yeah. All right guys, so it is dropped off. I'm gonna leave right now. I'll see you in a few weeks. Um, really excited to you guys got to stay tuned this is going to be awesome but yeah kind of bittersweet a lot of hours put into this now it's in their hands so that's pretty much it on this end look at that truck isn't that one nice Melanie 
Yeah, I'm gonna miss the black. Seriously? Seriously, I'm sad. <laughs> Aren't you gonna miss it? It's oh. like... I will be sad, but you know what? I can always wrap it like Whistle and Diesel and do that black chrome or something in the future. Yeah. Who knows? I'm just used to you having the black truck. Matthew's used to you having the black truck. Every black truck he's crazy. He sees he thinks it's daddy. Don't miss a episode. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.